Welcome to the topic series. My name is Roy Paulson. Today we're talking about the integration of different types of helmet accessories, including arc flash protection, on the Bullard climbing safety helmet. These new climbing safety helmets are extremely popular. They're available from almost all the manufacturers of helmets. They include these excellent chin strap designs, superior impact protection, and in some cases you can buy them as an E model which does not have any vents and is uh, verified for use with electrical safety. However, there was a big missing element in the market of that there were not many accessories that were available for these helmets and especially accessories that gave full face and chin protection that is necessary for electrical safety. This is model AMP1 12HTB, B is for Bullard Helmet. I always think of the helmet first and then look up on our product offering for what fits that particular helmet. Because there's so how many helmets, I don't want you to be confused. And we make these units specifically for the particular helmet that we're describing. So this is a 12 calorie HT, which is for our gray colored uh, nanoparticle arc shields. It's a 12 calorie model with an integrated chin protector that's also transparent. This has an upper lock position and a stowed position. You'll notice as this unit flips up on this climbing safety helmet that it comes up and back so that the shield does not overhang the front of the helmet very much. If this was a standard uh, pivot arrangement and didn't have the weight compensating features of this new bracket, the shield when it was in its stowed position would be way out in front and that's in the way and it also causes the helmet to tip. This helmet, I'm putting my finger up into the center, is balanced on the tip of my finger because the shield is organized to be in a balanced position when it's in the stowed position. So with these helmets, you'll hear there was a little detent sound as the shield was being pulled down. That's so that you can lower the shield in two different ways. You can grab the shield and lower it, or you can set the pivots so that that detent, when you nod your head like a welder would do with a welding helmet, the shield will come down on of its own. We give the option because sometimes if your hands are full, and you want to lower the shield, all you would have to do is nod your head. Other times you may want to raise it and lower it with your hand. Again, this is the Bullard helmet. It's an E model, so it has the, for electrical safety, it has our model AMP1 12HT-B attached here at the pivot points. I'd like to mention that we have of excellent new assembly here that's called press to release attachment where you just press in with your finger and then push the unit up to release it from the helmet. This way if you wanted to take it off it's only a matter of seconds and since these new um, climbing safety helmets are so much more expensive you don't want to have extra helmets you want to be able to change your accessories to go with it. Now I'm going to describe the industrial product line that we've built to fit this same helmet. An additional accessory for this shield is you can have a lighting kit. So you can buy one or two flashlights that will then snap onto the shield so that you have uh, work task lighting. Flashlight slides on and you can put the other flashlight on the other side. This uh, adjustable light mount. You just point the flashlight into the position you want it to be, let go and it'll stay there and it provides task lighting for you when you're on the job. So these flashlights, the features of the, of the balance design, the transparent chin protector, the gray colored shield that provides uh, excellent visibility and color recognition, rounds out our assembly available both in 12 calorie and in 20 calorie models. So again, we're speaking about the, the Bullard climbing safety helmet and the accessories that we've built for it. 
So we have an industrial product line. On this uh, helmet right now, I have the WCB-CSB. That is a description of the bracket. And then separately, we have all these different face shields that would fit that bracket. And the one that's on here is a gold-coated shield for heat reflection, an IM-22 GHC-6F WCS. So what that is describing is this gold shield where it has a clear base, gold-coated for heat reflection, and a hole pattern that's designed to fit this weight-compensating bracket. There's many advantages in the industrial safety field of being able to use these climbing safety helmets. And now with this full line of face shields that goes with it, it makes the helmet much more versatile. Again, the shield cl uh, clicks up and stays in that position. We can easily bring it down into the deployed position. It doesn't hang out far from the front of the helmet. I, uh, my demonstration of on the fingertip for the center shows that it's a weight compensating design. However, you may want to have a completely different face shield on this. So this is one is for heat reflection. And here we have a welding model. This is an IM-22 L6F5 WCS. So this is a shade 5 welding shield with the hole pattern to fit this co weight compensating bracket. Another example of a model would be this cobalt blue face shield. This is a polycarbonate face shield designed just for the steel industry so that you can look at the molten steel and identify the slag that is on the surface of the molten steel when it's in the ladle. So this is a cobalt blue face shield. IM22-L6FC5WCS. For more general purpose applications, we have an IM22-L6FWCS. Again, it has the whole pattern for the weight compensating bracket. It is a clear polycarbonate face shield, 0 0.060 in thickness, injection molded to shape, perfect for general applications and high heat. And for the, some of the most extreme conditions that, we, that we're aware of, we've built this transparent nylon face shield. You won't find a, a transparent nylon face shield anywhere other than at Paulson Manufacturing. And this one includes a large chin protector. So the advantages of the nylon are that not only will it have high temperature, higher than the polycarbonate, but it's also extremely chemical resistant and is popular in the uh, uh, protection against smelt in uh, where they're doing the paper and pulp industry. So this is an IM23N6FWCS, a clear nylon shield with a hole pattern to fit onto the weight compensating bracket. We will be adding additional models uh, to this product line but these are some of the most popular models that we would utilize. Uh, I have one more model that I'll be showing to you next. An additional accessory that we have for the Bullard Climbing Safety Helmet is our Quick View Assembly. This is the QV L6F C5 WCSB. So the Quick View Accessory or Assembly allows you to have an additional tinted section attached with a clear face shield, all on the weight compensating bracket. So you still have the ability to, to raise and lower the face shield, but when the face shield is in the deployed position, you can quickly and easily raise just the quick view. This happens to be a shade five blue cobalt. The blue cobalt, as I had previously mentioned, is for use in steel mills where you are observing the slag that's on the surface of the steel. Shade 5 means that it's absorbing all of the different requirements of the ANSI Z87.1 standard for eye protection with a level of brightness and infrared energy associated for Shade 5. So again, this accessory is the quick view assembly 
This can be lifted and lowered independent of the face shield. And when you do this, this keeps the face shield down, the clear face shield is down, and it gives you full face protection when you're still in the, in the uh, danger zone or working in the steel mill. Then when you face the very bright area or the very hot area, you will lower this down and you still have this protection below. The other reason that we make this in two different lengths, which is the four inch as shown and a six inch, is that then you have this clear section down below and you can still have good viewing for your uh, uh, footing where you're walking. You know, uh, in the steel mill, that's usually on a sand that you're walking and, and uh, there's not very good lighting inside those circumstances. So it's a quick view. It's attached to the Bullard helmet, has all the same features and benefits that I've previously described, has the additional accessory, and uh, it further extends the use of this type of a helmet into that type of environment. This is the Bullard helmet, and it's utilizing our quick view that's a shade five green. So the full model number of this assembly here is the QV22 L6F5 WCSB. So it has, it comes with the uh, attachments for the helmet, has the clear polycarbonate 060 molded to shape face shield. It has the quick view assembly that pivots independently of the pivots that are here on the helmet. So we're here in the deployed position, you can raise this welding shield and lower it. And it is a welding shield. The, the Shade 5 welding shield is the most common gas welding and cutting shield that's on the market. And here it is paired with a uh, clear face shield. So if we just use an example, how would you utilize this? You can have the welding shield down for when you're doing your gas welding or cutting. And now you're going to do some grinding or some other work. You can just raise that and you have a clear face shield to protect you. It just increases the ability of this full assembly to be more flexible in a dynamic environment. For our weight compensating brackets, when you receive it, this is how it would look. You already have your own helmet. In the case as we were describing the Bullard helmet, you would receive this bracket and then you would also receive, if it's a kit, you would receive the face shields to go with it or if you chose a particular face shield, you would receive that. So this is the weight compensating bracket with the helmet adapters. And here you have a good view of what that press to release unit looks like, where after you snap it in to remove it, you would press it in and then push it up to remove it. This uh, weight compensating bracket has the lever lock system that's here in the inside. We have two uh, attachment points here that drop into those keyholes on the shield and then you press it up into place and this lever lock then engages the slot. So this is the WCB CSB bracket only to fit the Bullard helmet.